Hello, Ryman. I know. Say up. When our son was diagnosed with autism at age two, he was delayed more than 40% in every developmental category. He was completely vacant, no longer responded to his name, had no form of physical or verbal communication, and he only initiated contact with us and engagement with us when he wanted access to items. We participated in research studies and his ATEC score was over 100, indicating severe autism. He had constant tics. So he had finger tics, body posturing, stiffening of the arms when he got excited, hand flapping, tiptoe walking, constantly mouthing things in sensory seeking, rolling things close to his eyes at all times so that he could um, self-stimulate. This eventually got worse instead of better with therapy time where he then began to self-harm when he would get overly excited. And I'm actually showing the least disturbing footage that I could find of this because it was really difficult to watch. A year later, he had slight improvement in some categories with therapy, but his health was deteriorating rapidly. Every day we saw more physical tics and problems with sensory processing. He was constantly sick and had begun to harm himself over a hundred times a day after a course of antibiotics to treat an ear infection. He was constantly covered in marks and bruises all over his head from banging it on the furniture or the floor. And it was as if he had no concept of pain. Where's dad, dad? And if he wasn't wound up and overly excited injuring himself, then he was completely vacant. But the worst was how constantly sick he was. Nope. And all we ever heard was, that's common with autism. It's supposed to be okay for your kid to be this sick all the time, apparently. Hundreds of hours wasted with mainstream medical specialists had only made his symptoms and behavior worse. So we desperately searched for help with an integrative physician who specialized in biomedical treatments for autism. Two weeks after beginning gentle detox treatments, he said his first word. Over the next few months, we increased his ABA hours paired with his medical protocol and made drastic diet changes. He began to communicate, make eye contact, and he finally started to engage with us. What? Good job! Shower! Good job! Shower! I became obsessed, and there's almost nothing that we didn't do that was a safe treatment that was appropriate for our son's condition. This is what I'm going to call before. This is Ryman after 11 months of gluten-free, casein-free diet and biomedical interventions and 25 hours a week of ABA therapy. He had improved dramatically. His self-harming decreased, motor functioning improved, he was speaking, reduced hypertonia, he was rarely sick anymore, and his ATEC score had dropped from 100 to 89, which is a great improvement, but is still considered pretty severe autism. What's inside? What is that? No, what is inside? Are those green? What is it? What's that? We were so happy he was able to communicate finally and he could tell us his basic needs and repeat many words. Hey, what's that? No, what's inside? Are those fish? Are they fish? One, two, three, four, five, six. Are they fish? Fish. Hey, look at mommy. Look at mommy. Ryman Marshall. But he was still greatly delayed in most categories. He lacked focus. He didn't understand most things that were said to him, and he couldn't follow any simple instructions without assistance. Where was mommy? Hey, can you hand it to mommy? Can mommy have the ball? Ryman, can you hand mommy the ball? Ryman, can you hand mommy the ball? I mean, orange ball. It's an orange ball, that's right. What do you want? Do you want it? My turn. Okay, can you throw the ball to mommy? Ryman. Ryman, look. Ryman, look. Ryman Marshall. There were still times he would go vacant occasionally, and we really didn't have much expressive language right. coming from him yet. What's your name? Ryman, high five. That was a good job. My hey, name. What's my name, Ryman? Hey, 
What's my name? Are you a boy or a girl? What's your favorite color, buddy? There are clinics that were doing adult stem cells and having great success for autism, but they weren't available in the US. So in October, he received 60 million MSC stem cells from the Stem Cell Institute in Panama. Six months later, we implemented a rigorous gut repair, parasite cleanse, and immune system stabilizing protocol with his doctor. We removed remaining grains, high histamine, and high fennel foods from his diet, and we continued with his 25 hours a week of ABA therapy. And the results have been nothing short of miraculous. This is Ryman today. His ATEC scores dropped from an 89 to a 32. That is considered only mild to moderate what's autism. Who am I? Mommy. Oh, yes. what's my name? Daddy. What is your name? Hey, what's your name? Ryman. Oh, well, Ryman. What is your favorite number? It's 20. Oh, 20? Yeah, 20. Wow. What's your favorite food? Banana nuts. Banana nuts? <laughs> okay, what's your favorite animal? It's frog. It's frog. It's a frog. frog. A frog? Ribbit. <laughs> Ribbit. What's a frog say? Ribbit. Ribbit. say? Yeehaw, yeehaw. Girl or a boy? I'm a boy. You are a boy. How old are you? Oh, you just had a birthday. How old are you? It's four years You're four. Oh, that's oh. right. It is a horse. Awesome, it's, Chuck. It's a one purple pony. You're right. Pony. Good job reading, buddy. It's a two blue dots. That's right, buddy. Dots. So smart. Yes. Dots. Can you shut? Can you shut the door now? Five green, green frogs. Yes. Six orange fish. Awesome job. Can you shut the doors? <gasps> High five. You did a great job. What, what's this? Oh. Mommy's turn. Mommy runs her. Okay. <laughs> Two. Can, mom, can I have the ball, please? <gasps> Thank you so much. That was so awesome. Oh, no, I dropped it. Can you hurry? Go get it. I know. I'm sorry. Bring it back to Mommy. Hurry. Hurry. Bring it to Mommy. Bring it to Mommy. Thank you, but Can I have it back? Thank you so much. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, two, three. three. So close. Can you put it in 30? You want Mommy to do it again? Mommy, do it back. Oh, you want me to try again? Okay, baby. One. Try again, 30? Yes, sir. Awesome. One, two, three. Oh, well, you gotta move your head. Move your head. Oh, I did it! Mommy did it! High five, high five! Good job, Mommy. Thank you, bud. You wanna put some cheese on? Yes. Come here. What's up, please? Careful, you're doing great. Put it on the pizza sprinkle. Hey! Okay, good helper. Thank you. Do you wanna wash your hands? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to help mommy do all these dishes afterwards? With a towel? You want a towel? Okay, baby, here you go. Oh, all done. All done, go throw it in the garbage. Autism is a multifaceted condition, and it requires taking a multifaceted approach to treatment. It's not only a developmental disorder for a large subgroup of our children, it is a medical disorder that needs to be treated appropriately to get the body working correctly so the brain can also function and bring the child back into the world around them. Ryman still has autism. That hasn't changed, and that isn't going to change. Some days are much better than others, and we definitely still have lots of struggles to overcome with this condition. However, we are able to treat his condition as what it is, a medical condition. We're treating the body and in turn, all of the behaviors and symptoms of autism have improved. Along with the early intervention therapies that we're implementing, by implementing the medical therapy, we are able to see so much more progress out of our son. Our days are no longer ruled by self-harming. We are no longer hindered to stay in the house and be isolated from everyone 24 seven by his inability to cope with the outside world. We are no longer stuck in a position of 
trying to manage just all of the physical tics and the physical hallmarks of autism that would hinder him in social situations like the tiptoe walking, the hand flapping, and the head banging that we just don't really see much of anymore. We can actually manage these things and have a much better quality of life as a family. And that is what is so important is that we just want to help our kids have a successful future. And there is absolutely hope for that. And there is treatment for the medical symptoms that are affecting these children. Because autism is still categorized as simply a developmental disorder or behavioral disorder, most parents of autistic children are completely unaware that there are these options out there. There are these specialists out there that can work on their child's health biomedically through nutrition, through stem cell therapy, and many other modalities to help improve the total outcome for their child. Please share this with someone who might need to hear this and know that there is absolutely hope for autism. I love you. I love you. Mm-hmm.